Okay everyone, so in this video I'm gonna show you my overclocking settings for my GTX 1070 Ti which will give me about 30 megahash per second when mining Ethereum in 2021. So we're gonna focus on this one. This is my GTX 1070 Ti from Sotax. Okay, so let's do this. So this is a preview. I will get 30.92 megahash per second adding the overclocking settings for my 1070 Ti. So just a preview for you guys. All you have to do is just open up a browser, go to google.com, search for MSI Afterburner. Go to this one, msi.com, and now go to this one, MSI Afterburner, download Afterburner. Just download this uh, software and install it and after that you should see this uh, MSI Afterburner icon. All right. Now we're going to open up MSI Afterburner. Click on yes. Now we can see the MSI Afterburner. If you don't have the same layout, you can always go to settings and go to user interface. Go down to this one, user interface skinning properties. Just yes, go down and choose this one. MSI Mystic Afterburner Skin by Dredrex Design. And you can also uh, do a skin scaling if you want to have a bigger layout or smaller like this. After that just click on Apply. And after that just click on OK. And now we should have the same layout as I do. Alright, so if you click on this arrow we can uh, switch between GPUs and I want to change my overclocking settings for my GTX 1070 Ti which is this one. So just click on your GPU and after that just click on the arrow and now we can see GeForce GTX 1070 Ti. All right. So I'm just gonna start up my T-Rex Miner and we're gonna add some overclocking settings to increase my uh, megahertz per second to 30 plus. And also disclaimer, this is just uh, me showing my settings. This is up to you if you want to add these overclocking settings to your GPU. It's at your own risk. Alright, so my uh, computer didn't like me to screen, record and mine at the same time. So I'm going to use my phone from now. Alright, so as you can see, right here I have GTX 1070 Ti at 26.91 MHz per second. So we want to add my overclocking settings to increase this to over 30 MHz per second. So let's go over to my MSI Afterburner software. And now we can see that we have GeForce GTX 1070 Ti. All right, so all we have to do is focus on this one, memory clock for the 1070 Ti. So I'm gonna add my marker right here. Now we can add a number. So the number we want to add is 500, like so, and hit enter. All right, so memory clock 500 plus. After that, we're gonna go to power limit and we want to lower this to 60%. Like so, hit enter. And after that we need to go to fan speed and I'm gonna click on this one to remove uh, out to fan speed and I'm gonna add this to maybe 70 to 80 percent all right I'm gonna add 80 hit enter and you can just test away until you find the perfect fan speed so you don't get too hot right here so you see the temperature right here right now it's 58 and when you have everything set up, we're going to go to the check mark and click right here. And this will apply to the mining software. If you go back and have a look, we can now see that we have uh, GTX 1070 Ti at 27 megahertz per second. And now we can see that we have increased to 28.09 megahertz per second. We have the temperature at 52 and now we can see that the fan speed is 80%. Alright, so now we have 29.20 MHz per second, 
A temperature 50 uh, Celsius, uh, power 107 watts, and the same thing, fan speed 80%. So now we have 29.41 megahertz per second, and we have now a lower temperature as well, 48 Celsius. Okay, so we have stopped at 29.45. What I need to do is I need to go back and I'm gonna go to power limit and I'm gonna add 65 instead. Hit enter and click on check mark. Let's go back and have a look. 29.67 megahertz per second. And that's it. Now we have 30.92 megahertz per second by applying some uh, overclocking settings and now we can uh, mine more ethereum because you have more megahertz per second okay everyone so if you like this video you have to check out my other videos because i have a lot of gpus with different brands and models which i will add more overclocking settings to so you don't want to miss that out subscribe to my channel leave a comment below if you like give thumbs up have an awesome day take care and bye